Hello everybody, it is me, Realm Time, and finally today, I'm going to be doing an actual guide, a full guide on how I can help you get rich. Well, not me, but you in general. Now, we're going to start from the beginning of picking the class. Now, I highly recommend you pick the Paladin or a Knight, alright? If you do not have these unlocked, that is fine. We could go with something like, uh, like a Wizard or Archroom. Uh, they're still also pretty good with a warrior, but that's like less than what I actually want you guys to do. So, we're going to start with the knight. So, just pick a knight. And, um, now, you can have a whole wide range of class setups. But, we're going to start with some people that are more weak. So, maybe, um, if you don't have the items I have, that's fine. Uh, maybe you could pick up like a, like a desolation armor or, um... Maybe a vengeance if you have some of that. Slap that on your character and begin to level up. Now that you have all the items that you have, um, basically you are if you're at this point where you don't have a lot of items, that's okay. Use what you got, and then I will show you how to get a little bit more items from what you have. So hopefully you have picked the knight or the paladin. So basically, if you're new, uh, you have to uh, level up your your. Uh, your character, who I was about to say champion from League of Legends. Um, you level up your character. Now, after you got to level 20, I will meet back with you guys later. Alright, so I'm level 6 right now. Uh, I'm just going to be sitting in the Godlands, but uh, you shouldn't be leveling up in the Godlands. But yeah, now that you have your items, I'm going to give you a couple build paths that you can use for the Knight or Paladin. They'll be on screen now, and the cost that it will actually get the items. Now, if you don't have enough, like, uh, pot to get any of these items that's fine use what we have and i'm pretty sure you still should be safe now if you want to be extra safe make sure you have a friend that's uh going along with you on this journey if not and you're just trying to do this solo that can also work too so yeah these are the build paths and this is what it will cost to actually get the items that you need uh if you can't get this that's fine just get to level 20 and you should be fine as well Alrighty, now that we are level 20, if you're already level 20, well then that's fine, then um, I guess we can continue on. Now if you have the items and the builds that I have here, this is going to make your life a lot easier. Uh, if you don't, that's totally fine. So, let's talk about dungeons. Now, dungeons you want to be running, you obviously don't have a lot of death, and you think, alright, I can just stay in the godlands and, you know, farm up a couple potions. You could do that. But the drop rate for potions late are, oh, well, from back then to what are now, are really low. So, find the Sprite God. Now, the Sprite God is going to draw up the Sprite World, which obviously you guys have probably been in. And, but it's going to be one of the easiest things that you're ever going to do if you have a Paladin or a Knight. So, what I want you to do is go into a Sprite World. Now, once you are in it, I want you to complete it and take the decks. Now, knowing the realm community and what is happening right now, three decks is one death. So, alright. Take the three decks, so run three sprite worlds, and uh, sell it for death. Consume the death, and you should be getting a little bit more tank here. Now, once you have um, completed this about ten times, so you'll have ten death. So, if three decks equals one death, and then you have ten death, or I guess eight death, you could sell it for a life potion. But... That is not what you're going to do. You're going to consume every piece of defense that you get until you have maxed whatever character you have. Now, if you think you are tanky enough to go do things, sure, you might be. But I, I, wouldn't pers I would not say you should. Alright? You, you have the death, but it's fine. Alright? So, once you have maxed death... It's going to make everything a lot easier for you now that you are max to death. Now, what every other single realm person does if you're getting rich is probably the easiest thing ever. Uh, you run abysses. Yep. That's uh, literally, literally it. But we're not going to be moving on to that just yet. Alright, so... You have your decks, all right? You ran all the smart rolls that you did. You have your, um, you obviously have your three decks. And uh, you're going to go sell it for a defense. So you have three decks, 
say you have like these three decks, you're gonna you're obviously gonna sell it to the people, be, get some def. Now, if you do this a lot, I know it's a long process, but realm you can't just get rich instantly unless, of course, you get like a really good drop and sell it for something good. But I mean, let's be honest, that never really happens for a lot of people. So take the three decks, you sell it for a def, you have your def potion. You, I want you to consume that death potion until you have about 10 death consumed. If you're a decent pet, well then maybe a little less. So now you have your 10 death consumed. What are you going to do from there? Well, your character, if uh, probably doesn't look like this, but it's maybe got some, some good uh, equipment, you know. Better yet, you have uh, finally bought some things, um, doing stuff you're on your own. And that's fine. So now you're a little bit more tankier. And now you have all your def consumed. No, not all of it, but the 10 that I said you should. Now, it's time to move on to the Abyss of Demons. Alright, the Abyss of Demons. Now, you're at the point here. Now, this might be a long process to get here, because you got to run all the sprite worlds. What's well, going to be worth once you have to 10 def? No. Abyss of Demons, you need to be careful. It is a powerful dungeon with a lot of strong enemies. What I would say, recommend you guys do, is just spin in a circle in each room. Well, not each room. Uh, peek in. If uh, everything seems clear, you spin in a circle. Because if you do this, a lot of them are going to miss their bullets. And these guys here aren't going to be able to hit you. It's a thing that I always do. And uh, it's pretty easy if you... Uh, I mean, if you don't have anything, you can do that. And you'll be able to clear the room pretty easily. If not, then just be careful with every single room. Take every little bit slow if you're not powerful. So, the Abyss of Demons. You kill it, it gives you one bit, one death. If you do it by yourself, do it with a partner. You know, you might get that split death or bit. But usually, you're going to get a bit or a death out of it. Now, what I know is two bit is one death. And one death is a death. Eat the death, keep the bit. Now, if you keep running the abysses safely, in about, you run about like, uh, it takes you maybe about like three minutes for each abyss. If not, it takes a little bit more, that's fine. So, if you run abysses for a long time, and you keep doing it for about like a couple hours, you're gonna be getting a lot of stuff done. So, eat every single death you get, and keep every bit you get. So, two bet for one death. Um, every time and keep eating the death until you are max death right so that is probably the second part to this is uh, you know running the abysses eating the death keep it a bit and selling it for two I um, mean selling two bit for one death each it's gonna help you a lot and now it's gonna allow you to max a lot faster if you're on a night you know the death is gonna take a long time to max because you gotta eat 40 but it'll be worth it because you're super tanky on the paladin it's gonna be a lot easier so yeah so now let's talk you're at the point where you have eaten all the death you have saved all the bit you sell all of it now and you max your character knight paladin warrior whatever you chose so now what do you do from there you have max death not really much other stats to do and uh, this is uh, this is literally where um, I say um, repeat the abyss process over and over and over, and then uh, apparently you get a white bag in the middle of making a video. <laughs> um, this was uh, that also might happen when running abyss. You might get a white bag in the middle of your video. Uh, anyways, um, so uh, yeah. You keep running them over and over and over until you have all the stuff you need that you need. Like, uh, maybe you buy Vengeance and then you buy a Mithril Shield, you know, maybe you buy um, Arkin, you know, uh, uh, stuff like that. And then it's, you know, you keep building a building by X Def and then you get more tanky and yeah, that's a literally how you get rich. Um, we're going to go into some extra details now, but that is literally the, uh, simple process of getting a lot of stuff in Realm. You run Spirit Worlds until you have 10 death, 
once you have consumed the 10 death, you run abysses over and over and over. And um, once you are done with the abysses, you run more and more. But I'm going to teach you how to get a little bit more done in the short amount of time. All right, so now you're at this point where uh, you max death. Uh, don't sell your defense potions for items. The reason why is you don't really need items. Not yet. What you're going to do is you're going to take every single piece of death you get and sell it for more stat potions. You know, dex, tech, and uh, speed. The four essentials, uh, four essentials you actually need. Uh, once you have that now, we're going to get into the juicy stuff. You're going to be going into uh, orcs, you know, run your orcs here and there. You know, do your ocean trenches, maybe your private tombs without being, you know, not taking too much risk, but you're getting stuff done. And eventually, you're going to be able to build up items here and there. And when you're doing even the uh, the decks and, you know, you're doing the abysses, you have a chance of getting a white bag. As you can saw, uh, as you can see, um, I got a white bag and it was pretty easy. But yeah, save every piece of item you get, you know, T10s. T9s, T5s, everything. Every little piece that you can get, it's going to be easy. It's going to make your vaults look a lot bigger and more gorgeous. And it's going to just be great for you guys. So, yeah, that was um, my way of um, trying to get you guys more rich in a very long process. But if you do this, you're, it's going to help you a lot more than trying to just go into hard dungeons and risking your own life to get nothing out of it. I'm Realm Time, and I hope this guide actually helped you. I know it might be a long process, and if I wasn't clear with a couple things, so leave a comment down below. I'm Realm Time, and I'll see you later. I ain't never felt a pain like this. I go and take a shot, and I aim I miss, but I still got a whole nother round. Life guard, know that life is quite hard Not about getting a deal, it's about the right call